Welcome back to GTO Wrestling. We're starting off with a big old uh, round two match, the first round two match for the Super Tournament. It's going to be Big Bubba versus Gatoran. I'm really looking forward to it. And Big Bubba looks focused and really ugly. He's missing half his teeth. The teeth he does have are extremely yellow. A little cuts on his forehead. Still wearing a damn rough uniform, whatever. The bright side is now we know what it looks like when a zebra and a hippo fuck. <laughs> Call it a bubble. Alright, here here comes Gatoran. My pick to win this match. He uh recently had some very bad, tragic news. And uh come any second now. Any second now. And the next day. And the next day. Any seconds. Here he comes. He's totally here, guys, we promise. Oh. What's Esoteric doing out here? You got eliminated, buddy. Well, he is he also the GM of GTO Wrestling. Let's see what he has to say. Good evening, GTO fans. I have some troubling news. The opening match was supposed to be Big Bubba versus Gatoran in a second round tournament match. I've looked up and down the arena and asked every person backstage, and to my knowledge, Gatoran did not show up tonight. Per Super Tournament bylaws, this match would not be postponed, but rather canceled. Gatoran's no show will be taken as a forfeit. Big Bubba Murphy advances to round three. Call it. Alright, well, mark that down. We should uh, look into that a little further. People not showing up to matches is a bad sign. It is a bad sign. If you have that, like, if somebody just no-shows, like, every, every match somebody no-shows is kind of fucked. No refunds, though. No refunds. <laughs> He's celebrating. <laughs> oh, and John Duncan's there to help him, too. Yeah, everyone give a hand to the retard. <laughs> <laughs> you want a match by technicality. All he heard was Big Bubble wins, and that's... That's all he needs. <laughs> Oh, today we're also starting round one of the women's tournament. It's uh, we're starting a little bit later because uh, there's not many rounds. There's only eight competitors in, compared to 32. So having two matches today, and the first one I think would be Flo Zell versus Ebony. Funny how that turns out. Yeah, funny. Here comes Flo Zell, elegant 45-year-old black woman. Right now, it's a has three kids to her name, so she's using the GTO wrestling money. How little it is to support her family. Good, for, good on her. All oh, twenty bucks a match. Yeah, and if she wins this match, she gets a little, little nice one point five win bonus. So, uh, but she has to go through one of her best friends, in Ebony. She has only wrestled in uh, a few matches. But what's your impression on her thus far? Incredibly well trained. Yes. Very athletic. Mm hmm. Probably one of the better wrestlers overall, like on the on the entire roster. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a day where we don't have to be boxed into the male-female divisions. I want to see some of these women fight some of these men, because I feel like most of these women are better than most of these men. And uh, in terms of her training, got trained by Katarina, and she seems to be influenced by uh, the style of Daniel Bryan. So it's always nice to see that be referenced. You know, I think the one thing that would make this happen real world, mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar versus Ronda Rousey. That's, that's <laughs> a horrible idea. <laughs> Uh, do you want to play as one of these, or? No. Alright. Not particularly. I was going to watch these two after that horrible idea. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would like to see man versus woman, because, you know, some of the best wrestlers are like 5'9", some of the best male wrestlers are like 5'9", 200 pounds, and Charlotte's like that, that height and that weight, so. El yeah. Torito versus all. I do not want to see small people wrestle. wrestle. <laughs> Anyways, Irish whip. And a nice strike by uh, Flo Zell. We're going to see who's the who's the better wrestler here. Mm. Oh, nice. Using those leg muscles to do a nice little hurricane run in there. Mm. I want to see how good an athlete Flo Zell is. Oh, nice board. Looks bulldog. like she's uh, done most of the hitting this match. Yeah. But if anything, if a... Uh, Experience and knowledge is anything to go off of. Starting big, like having a big flurry in the first minute, doesn't mean anything in GTO wrestling. But then again, doing your comeback doesn't mean anything either. Just whoever, whoever just lasts the longest, whoever has the most manager interruptions is gonna win. But no manager here. Ten minute time limit as we do. So, but uh, 
I don't see this thing lasting more than five minutes. <sighs> oh, that hit high. Yeah. Nice German suplex, fundamental to a wrist lock. Mm. Oh, nice. Slammed her arm behind her body. That's the hurt. Uh, I'm, she's kind of taking a risk there, manipulating joints, because that is illegal. But she didn't make it too obvious that she's manipulating that hand. Then again, then again these refs suck, so they're not going to DQ you. Right. Oh, nice strike, stopping her. Oh, nope. Got the hurricane runner off anyway. Now, also later tonight, yeah. the next match is going to be Lindsay versus uh, Lindsay versus Elizabeth Drew. Oh boy. Yeah, so we got two really good women's matches on the way. Right now, this one's not disappointing. A nice back and forth. A lot of a lot of hurricane runs, like I always say in women's matches. Mm. Another wrist lock. Mm. Nice drop to the back. Didn't even take her down. That one did. Mm. Oh, another German suplex on top of the head. That can snap a vertebrae too. Mm. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Nice, just slamming her face into the mat. Not technical, but effective. Running Bulldog. Again, planting that face into the mat. Going for the pin. One. Okay, only on a one count. Shout out to the guy in the crowd with the I Did Crazy Chick sign. You're, you're a great person. Alright. Waist lock. Front face lock. Back elbow. We've been seeing that a lot lately. Suplex. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah. Flozell is not backing down though, but she's still eating a lot of a lot of punches to the headlock. Mm. I like tournaments. Favorite thing about tournaments is that oh shit, super <laughs> kick. Oh, pause that thought. That might be it. Yes. Oh. Oh, this gets right back up. Oh. For now. Two references to Shawn Michaels: the, the sweet chin music, then the kip up. So oh, what game? What are you doing? Oh. Seems that I don't understand what just happened. Okay, only one roll up, only one. Gotta That's, break the record of what eighteen? You no, know, it was fifteen roll ups. It was but I counted it on the count. It was fifteen. Oh, well, a hair, hair blind, and Calhoun Burnside definitely have the record. It's probably gonna be that for the rest of rest of humanity. Not if I have anything to say about it. Please don't. <laughs> I wouldn't. What's this? Oh, Starship Ooh, Pain. Oh. That's a very athletic move, and that might be enough to take out Flozell. All right, one, two, th ooh, very close. These two know each other inside and out. It's going with that breeze, and uh, the match continues. Disgusting. <laughs> Ebony with a springboard move, springboard four fifty again. Misses again, same time, same, same sequence. Uh, snap, man. Another German. <sighs> Very painful. What's she going for? Another. Oh, nice throw. Well, it's been almost five minutes. Yeah. As her in that scissors holds. Uh, elbow right on the top of the head. Knee drop. I don't know if we're going to see any of these ladies get busted open. Mm. Elbow to the face. Nice kicks. Miss it with. The, okay, nice. Did you get trained by Katarina or what? They're like, that's an easy one to hit. Nice Samoan drop there. Reminiscent of Roman Reigns. Still better than the uh, the first men's match we had. I think. You're talking about tonight, the first men's match? No, the first in the tournament. Well, which one was that? I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure it was bad. <laughs> Alright, well, nice headlock, snapmare, takedown. Stay to the fundamentals. Will she tap out here? Cranking that neck back. Oh, Whoa. she said she give she gave up. The ref is ringing the bell and flows out. Advances to round two. That's an upset. By way of submission, yeah. Well, good for her. Now she has a fifty percent bonus. Now she has thirty dollars to feed her kids this week. So good luck with that one. Right. Somebody's coming out in a limo. It's your boy Comic Sans. Oh yes, he's ready to. Fight his round one matchup and blow Algen and defend his Please internet championship. Jumped. Please don't get jumped. He's in the parking lot. That's dangerous business. He should watch out. He should probably run away. Yeah, I mean, people are 
The, yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Another casualty in the parking lot. I don't have to pay MVB, do I? They didn't protect me from anything. Well, they're kind of fucked up because... Uh, yeah, they, they were. Yeah, so... You don't have to make moonshine for them. They've been kind of useless. Pro tip. Don't hire fresh out of high school gamer nerds for protection. Yeah. They can't protect anything except their virginity. Why well, I always get hit by, gotta get hit by a car though, Mark? I mean, it's an effective way, from, from their perspective, it's an effective way to take somebody out. Yeah, from their perspective. I don't get what you're trying to say. Who is it? Uh, mm, there you go. Lindsay. She'll be facing Elizabeth Drew. Uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Because uh, Lindsay has she's grown a lot since the beginning of her career. Elizabeth Drew has came in and instantly show how, shown how much skill she has uh, attained from okay. Katarina's Dojo. And I want Elizabeth Drew to go far because I have a thing for white chicks. Um, but not white chicks he knows, apparently. Well, I mean, uh, Lindsay's different. Um, anyways, on to the I don't match. know if she's a white chick. I don't, I don't know how different. I mean, she's Italian. Italians aren't real. Ooh. Are Italians really people? You decide in the comments. Anyway, I'll play. Oh, but did I pick Lindsay? No, I did. Okay. Are you not? I'm not oh. anyone. Oh, there you go. All right, nice. Oh. All right, nice takedown. Let's get you get in this dominating performance. That's what I want. There we go. Nice wheel kick. Come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh. Step through wheel kick. I'm trying to go for that high knee. Finally got it. And bro John Cena's nose. Yeah. Too slow. Whoops. And hoop. And oh, back in the turnbuckle. Hey, Raph, could you uh, not be where you are? That's a, that's a so useless. Could we just get like an electronic thing, like like in the production room, like on the billboard or whatever? One, two, three. Let let the like people in the back count. I've seen fans count more reliably than the refs. Yeah. Oh, big Ooh. kick. Brings her back up. Might be on her feet. Nice drop kick. Elizabeth Drew's way too fast for Lindsay right now. But, uh, ooh, trying to go for the inverted DDT. There we go. Nice suplex by Lindsay. Boy. Oh, shot to the gut. Ooh, nice trip by Lindsay. What's she doing now? Targeting that knee and the hamstring. That's what I like to see. Oh. How can I take down? Kick to the back. I'm looking at elbow. Smart move. She's wearing elbow pads. That's what you do. Oh, nice high knee. Another one. Well, you know when the arm and the head are so, so close. Yeah, that is annoying. Oh, her shot right into the braids. That's gonna hurt even more. Oh. All right. Is he looking to finish it? Oh, oh she missed it. Nice. Oh, big. Meteora. That's what it's called. Nice. Oh, I should have went for the pin. Almost a Drew finish it. Another one. Go back to the top. Another one. You could finish it. Oh, that was close though. All right, Lindsay got a signature move. What is she gonna do? Roll up. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Only three this time. <laughs> oh, great minds think alike. Oh shit! Package power <laughs> driver. Up she goes, down she goes. That might be the end of Elizabeth Drew. Oh boy. Nah, it's not over. One, two. Come on, Ralph. We count too fast. Sure, that's what it was. Okay. Three minute, five seconds. Lindsay wins. What did I tell you about the upsets? Oh. Uh, boy. Lindsay advances to round two. That was a good match. Sure. <laughs> and it's time for the main event. 
Blau Augen versus the internet champion, Comic Sans. Blau Augen looks ready, focus. Is this my super tournament match or the internet championship? Both! Both. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. High stakes. Brock Lesnar's had these high Brock Lesnar had these high stakes as well. He uh he faltered to Dante's. Will you falter to Blau Algen? No. Alright, we'll see. Alright, here comes Comic Sam, the internet champion. He is ready to pump up the crowd. <laughs> he is ready. He is ready to advance to round three and defend this title. Carried all the way to GTO Climax. Alright. Man, how do you feel? How do you feel right now going Excited. to this big match? Excited? Ready to crack some skulls. You look you look pretty good to say you got ran over by a car. So hopefully the match doesn't go long enough where those effects will show themselves. I'm not always a fan of punching Nazis, but I'll make an exception. Because this is a sanctioned fight. Yes. And not brutal assault in the streets. Alright, match begins. I'm gonna play as Blau Algen. Why not? High stakes match. Who advanced to round three? It's funny enough, both of these are people are going to be in the Fatal Four Way or GTO Championship match after the Super Tournament event, so they have a backup plan if they need it. Oh. Escaping the ring, you need a breather. I really hate the championship disqualification thing. Like, you can't lose a championship if you get disqualified. Like if, if like if the yeah. champion gets disqualified, the champion doesn't lose the championship. Yeah, and that's that annoys me to no end. Because if they look like they're gonna lose, if it's one of the few like non-scripted matches or whatever, mm -hmm. they can just you know take out the ref and keep their championship. Like a certain somebody did against another certain somebody in this here great city of New Orleans. Hmm. But usually, like the next, the next event, next title defense will be no DQ. So, like, you know, they'll make up for it. Yeah, but still, like, it draws the storyline out. Yes. Oh, early. We're going for Oof. a finisher early. What is this? Oh, baby, a euthanasia power bomb on the way. Yeah. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, oh boy. Ooh. Can I get a hell no? He looks a little different. Not a good kind of different. Oh man. What if he you... kills me again, I swear to God. Oh, no. Mark, I swear to Jesus. No! Oh. This series is done. I'm deleting mm. everything. I'm deleting our channel. Nope! <laughs> I'm tired of your cheating ass. <laughs> I know you got somebody to run over Sam, and I know you got Monster in the bed to try to kill Sam. I'm not having it with you anymore. This match goes down as a disqualification. You lose! That means you're eliminated from the tournament. Comic Sans advances to round three. And you better be mad. I mean, if I survive the thing that put me in a coma last time. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Well, I'm being not, seen on a stretcher this time. That's a step up. Yeah. At least you have, you're not knocked out. Looks like you don't have control of your lower extremities, though. Or I don't need control. I'm holding my head, which is not the area that was lit on fire. I mean, it was kind of everything. True. Do not try this at home. Mm. Don't summon a demon to throw you in a pyrotechnic setup. Do whatever it takes to get viral. Oh. What's going on? Give me a reason why I shouldn't kill you. You're not worth my time. You gave yourself a reason. Friday, Boy. check out Esoteric Furious Fridays, episode 16. We'll see two more round two matches. Hopefully, they'll actually happen. And uh, another women's uh, tournament match. And also, we're going to have a fourth match of uh, two newcomers in GTO Wrestling. So, tune in on channel Esoteric.